What is up? Oh my gosh, I can't tell you how freaking good it feels to be sitting here about to do this. I've been wanting to do this for so long. But... So pretty much what we're going to be doing is this will be a series where I just go through and paint some of my favorite album arts or just uh, album arts from artists that I listen to or have listened to before. So yeah, today we're starting out with a zombie EP from The Devil Wears Prada. I had actually planned on this one being the first one for a while, but then they freaking announced that they were going to be releasing Zombie 2 here like really soon. So this just happened to end up perfect. So let's do this thing, dude. I'm freaking ready. All right, so I have uh, the album art pulled up in Photoshop here in front of me just to kind of draw for reference. And if I get kind of stuck on a color or just need clarification on where a value of, of something or like the hue of something is sitting, I could just check it here. So it's very helpful if you're going for like color accuracy. And it's a good way to just practice uh, like figuring out what a color is say like if you get a picture that you want to paint and you just pick out like a small section of it or a small color that you want to try to recreate you can look at it and mix what you think the color is and then you can go in and actually check it and compare it to what you just mixed so you'll be surprised a lot of the times how uh like different the actual color might be from what you perceive the color to be it's it's very weird and it's definitely helpful with this kind of thing to be able to double check yourself with uh, what you're mixing to make sure that it's around the same area. You don't have to go for like exact, but as long as it's around the same area, you're going to kind of convey the same mood and stuff that the original does. So that's what we're going to go for here, dudes. Hey, y'all calm down. They're ridiculous. All right, let's figure out which paints I want to use. All right, so I'll just start out with my values with white and black. Luna! Hey! Stop! Is he pestering you? I've seen him bite you. All right, yeah, let's get some white on here. I actually like to make two little piles of white half the time because I end up like dragging into them and then the, they just get all messy. I'm a very messy painter. And also, as you can see, I'm literally using a paper plate. So that tells you uh, how things might end up on my palette. Uh, just throw the whole thing away. <laughs> all right, we've got our white. Uh, let's get black. I'm so sorry for uh, the bear noises in the background. It's just warming us up to oh this God. album's vocals. Also for the black, I'm using Mars Black from Windsor & Newton. It, I mean, it's pretty black. I messed up and got Ivory Black one time and it just has like a certain warm tone to it that I'm not crazy about. So this has been pretty, pretty steady and will get you a, a very true deep black if that's what you're going for. All right, next up we have Sap Green from Windsor & Newton as well. I just see in the trees down there, especially near the edge of that right one, where it kind of is fading in, it has a little bit of a green tone to it. So a little bit of that. And obviously like you can mix your own green too, but I use green so much, it's just better for me to have a tube of it. Definitely need a little yellow. The cloud highlights have just a hint of yellow in there. Oh, oh God. Luna, you are being so ridiculous. I, I don't have much choice of where to film this, Loon. We gotta, we gotta share the space together in harmony, in peace. All right, next up, we have some blue for sure. They're blue for sure, right? I don't even look blue. This is, uh, this is Prussian blue from Windsor & Newton. And again, super pigmented it goes a very long way so next you know that might be it that might be it i think i can get away with that small of a color palette i can get a pretty long way with this oh also liquid oh my god so whenever i made that first TikTok that did decently well <laughs> somebody well there was a lot of comments about just how dry the brush stuff was and i was getting uh <laughs> drug pretty hard for that which was hilarious 
but uh, somebody suggested I use liquid. I'd never used like a medium before because I just, I don't know. I just was painting, bro. I was just going for it. But yeah, this stuff, if you mix it with your paints, oh my God. God. Like it just takes it so much further. It makes it go onto the canvas a lot easier. It makes it go further on the canvas. It just, it really do be hitting. Okay, let's go ahead and start. I then proceeded to pour my blood, sweat, and tears into mixing this paint and painting the sky. I failed to realize, however, that my Apple AirPods had teamed up with 2000 Steen Heartthrob and the best thing to ever come from the state of Iowa, Ashton Kutcher, to bring back the hit show punked for just one episode. This is that episode. I need to listen to this EP. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm getting it queued up. You've just been punked. Okay, so uh, long story short, this camera stopped filming and did not save the footage. So here we are again with a new canvas. Here, I'll show you what I ended up with on the other one, but the point we're gonna end up getting to here. That blue is strong, dude. You put a little bit on there and it's going to go a mile. I like that color better, though. Starting to get some of that cool tone that's in the photo already. All right, mixing up a bit of a lighter color now. I'm going to start near the bottom and kind of uh, work that in. I really wanted to start out with this one for a reason because it's one of my favorite like pieces of music ever, uh, especially out of that genre. They really, really set the bar high with it. I mean, they had a lot of expectations to live up to after Roots. I feel like Roots is kind of where they found their their sound or like a sound that they could probably go for. Joey Sturgis also kind of found a certain sound there too, like especially compared to his work on their previous stuff, which was not bad by any means. But I mean, they were all learning at the time and just kind of figuring it out themselves. And so with that, you just get better over time. And I think that it all just kind of came together really well on Roots. And to follow that up with this EP that's just so heavy hitting and so much faster and grittier than, than anything they had done before was just like, it, it was the perfect follow up to Roots. Because Roots had a lot of things that I really liked. I liked how clean and uh, polished the production was. Uh, for it being like a metalcore record. I liked the writing on it a lot. Uh, it, it was very much uh, the Devil Wears Prada record. You know, it was it was a very cleaned up version of what they had been doing. So I think they really found what worked for them on that record. And then to, to come out with this afterwards and just show everybody that, yeah, we can, we can do that, but crank the, the heavy up to about 11 uh it really just caught me off guard in the best way possible at the time still does i mean the the ep still stands up today as one of the the better things to come out of that genre i think all right let's um work on our highlight color so it looks like there's some like red and yellow in there mainly yellow but a touch of red so we'll start with just some white. I'm gonna literally just touch barely that red and put it in here. Ooh, see even then it, uh, it gives you a lot more than you expect. I think that's about the right color though. Maybe a little more yellow. So I'm gonna start over here, I guess. Yeah, this freaking EP, dude, it just checks a lot of boxes for me, and it's not even an album. It feels like it gives you an album's worth of uh, stuff, though. I think the runtime is like 20 minutes or something. It's five songs. Anatomy is the only one that's under four minutes, and it might as well be four minutes. It's 345, 
and then the rest of them are like 430 or above so you're getting like four five minute songs and a four minute song and normally I guess with longer songs I feel like I get bored a little ways through but with this EP all the sections in each of the songs flow so well into each other and give you something different like out of each one of them that it doesn't feel like any of the songs are that long you stick around for the whole thing because I mean with it being a concept EP is kind of telling the story and bringing you along for the ride and you get this feeling of you're in a zombie apocalypse everything is very dark and gritty and just it feels like that throughout the whole album so You stick around for that. They get you with so many good breakdowns, so many good riffs. The production on this whole thing, too, was phenomenal. Joey Sturgis did a ridiculous job, as he always does. And with their stuff, too, he really did find a sound, and it was a sound that was specific to him. There wasn't really anybody else at the time that was doing that kind of stuff. And afterwards, there were like copycat versions of his style of production and bands that wanted their band to sound like what he had been producing. So it kind of shaped the whole genre there in the, in the early 2010s or so. Yeah, I'm pretty good with that. Next thing we have to worry about is our trees and then blending that down into our foreground like grass elements and stuff, which that looks to be pure black seems that that's like pure black. These fade up into like a green kind of color. Um, even this fades up to like a, a gray green color. So I think our paint that we already have here is going to kind of help us whenever we're doing that. So we can just start from black. And as we go up, it should give us a little bit of that gradient. But yeah, I want to give the EP a listen and just kind of go through it and reminisce a little bit and talk about some of my favorite moments in here. There's a lot of them. Um, the, like I said, the EP is just packed full of memorable moments, like such iconic riffs, such good lyrics, and it all just glues together to make this. Uh, uh, you, you know, know what? what? I'm, I'm about, about to say, say it. It's perfect. It makes this perfect EP and this perfect sound and this perfect atmosphere that really embodies, I think, what they were going for with Zombie EP. Uh, so, yeah, let's jump into it. Escape. See, I mean, they're already setting the tone with, with the rain and the thunder. Really good quality sound effects, too. That That adds a lot. Also, all the string elements that are through here, like not just in this part, but throughout the whole EP, really help make it feel epic and like larger than life, almost like a movie kind of deal. And then they just throw you into it. Which this one is escape, so it definitely feels like that. Oh my god. They're everywhere. Gosh. The big squills, dude. Those are just nasty. This is the first thing that you're this how many seconds are we in? We're barely a minute in, and that's with the rain sounds. That's the worst, I'm sorry, but it just feels heavy. Nice little uh, chorus section here that they'll end up repeating. Getting back into the fast. You really feel like you are you are trying to escape. You are on the run. Just a horde of zombies behind you. Golly, the alarm breakdown, dude. That's another thing I'm talking about. If you do that kind of thing wrong, you know, it it will probably come off as cheesy, but everything just fits so well together, and it, it... God. 
gosh. Point in case. I, I like I, I said that, but it's so apparent in almost every song. They're gonna have something little like that, and it just sell. It, it sold me. Nah, the bullet dropping, dude. That's so good. Just the perfect setup and intro to the whole EP. It really just throws you in, and uh, now you know kind of what to expect from the rest of it. They did not hold back on the first one. This is probably my favorite one from the EP, just overall. Like, it checks all the boxes for me. Also, that chainsaw intro and this riff. Those drums, dude, how? And then going into this breakdown from that, it's just, it's all so good, dude. And then waiting until after one to, to come back in there with the rest of it is just, ah, dude, the riding. His, his screams, too, add for some nice contrast. So you have a lot of lows right here, whereas before you had some mid-high kind of stuff going on. And those lows just fit right here perfect. And then he throws a high end right there, and it just kind of separates a little bit here at the end, too. So good, man. I know I keep saying that, but it's, I mean, it is what it is. See, and this is one of my favorite, like, clean vocal sections from the EP. Uh, I think that's why I probably considered this one my, my favorite. It just has all the things that I would want from a song on this EP. There are those really gritty breakdown moments. There's this really good clean vocal section. The intro is, like, perfect for me. It embodies a lot of the EP overall as well. Like, if you wanted to kind of summarize musically at least the EP I feel like this song is probably a good one. Oh yeah. And then this one I believe they released as their single from the EP so this is the first bit of this you get after after their last album and they just throw you into it. I mean, they throw you into the concept of it with this like intro monologue. They throw you into how heavy it is whenever it finally does come in and you're like, this is the Devil Wears Prada. I don't want to say this, but I gotta, we are the Devil Wears Prada. <laughs> the triplet kicks, dude. The stop right there and then just going for it, man. Holy crap. Nice chorus section they have in here. Mixing the, the cleans and the screams really kind of adds some aggression to it and some urgency, I guess, to it. Oh, and then just killing everything right there pretty much. Sucking everything out. So good, man. That contrast. Everything's kind of drawn out right here. Letting those notes ring a little bit. Good to follow up that uh, that faster chorus. God, that is just so heavy, dude. And then you go back into the intro there. It just, that's what I'm talking about. All these sections just, the section before complements whatever is going to come. Like, it, it flows together perfectly. And you don't feel like you're missing anything or like, oh, I, well, they kind of like, the energy dropped off there when we went from here to here. It just, it, it makes sense, everything that happens. And it feels right, too. Every section that, uh, it goes to just makes sense. Oh, 
the keys with that breakdown. It just it feels very them. It's very much something they would do. Yeah, next we have Revive. Not my favorite riff on the album, but it, it works for what they're setting up, like this intro right here. Yeah, I like that. And then... God dang, dude. They just slow that down, and it makes everything that came before it just perfect. You needed that fast kind of setup there for them to just rip it out from under you and give you that. It's... Oh. This may be my actual favorite clean vocal section from the album. That, pian that glitch piano kind of sound right there is dope. Nice. Another tempo change. Those spooky uh, background vocals there. All the vibrato. See, and they have like a synth breakdown right here, but it doesn't feel weird. It fits in with everything else they're doing and it doesn't take you out of what they're trying to convey. They always had a way of implementing their synths and pianos and stuff in their own way and for it to sound like the Devil Wears Prada. Like that's how they implement it. Because you had other bands that did the same kind of thing, but it was more in the crab core, I guess, kind of realm. It's the same, but it gives off a different feeling. Same, same. But different, but still same. <laughs> and then they're ending here with, with some clean vocals and strings and stuff. Very fitting. Good little fade out there. Oh man, those keys. I forgot they do that. Oh, the crickets and everything. Dude, that's what I'm saying, man. The atmospheric sounds and uh, production on here is so good. It just puts you right into it. You get the little zombie sound effects coming. You better get him. Oh. Oh, my God. He shot him. Like all those sounds, it's so crisp and so clear and just good quality sound effects and stuff. And it, it sells you on it. It sold me on it at least. Last song. Survivor. And it definitely has more of a, a down tempo kind of feel especially compared to the rest of the album it's a little lower energy but I feel like it kind of needs to be especially with where it's at on the album and just the, the content of the song it's you you have made it through it you're alive but at what cost you're literally all along you're depressed uh, everybody that you've loved is gone or has been like turned into a zombie um I mean, what is next? What is there to live for? That bass is also nasty. The bass in this whole song is nasty. See, this part's definitely more droning and not quite as structured as the rest of the album. Bass, dude. such a good clean vocal performance too especially for like this song it, you're he really conveyed the emotion and everything for it to be the end of the song and the end of the world pretty much you know and then back to that intro part it just it makes sense to go there you know and it flows well Oh, and the triplet bass and kick. It's so good, man. 
And then you just kind of end it with that ominous instrumental and that laugh. And it just, they start and end it perfectly. I mean, the whole thing, honestly, to me, is is borderline perfect. I don't know what else they could have done to make it better. I mean, the production on it is top tier. The writing on it is super solid, especially for the time. Like, And considering what they had written before that with Roots, which was super good. Roots was uh, really good. It's probably my favorite album from them. But following that up with this... And just taking it all to that next level. You have to look at it in context like that, I think. I mean, you can take the EP as it is, and it will be uh, just as good, I think. But having that context and knowing what came before it, and then having this, it's like, man, oh man. I was not ready for that at all. But it's so good. It's so good. I can listen to it front to back and be entertained the whole time. There's so many good moments in there. The lyrics are good. The concept is really good. I know, especially at the time, the zombie thing was, it hadn't quite been super overdone yet. It was starting to get there, but it was, for the time, relevant. I don't know if I'm going to rate these things or not every time I do one. But uh, this one for me would be a 9 out of 10, if not a 10 out of 10. I don't want to give my first... uh, painting album art thing that I do a 10 out of 10 but if I was gonna give one it would probably be this one I'm not kidding it is so good it is so good especially if you like heavier music like this if you haven't listened to this EP you just you almost have to I was gonna say you need to you almost have to (laughs) please go listen to it you will not regret it at all so yeah just go support them pick up the EP buy some merch support any musicians that you like especially after this past year because i mean they kind of had their their livelihoods ripped out from under them with touring and everything being uh not a thing so they definitely rely heavily on merch sales and on tours and everything like that not only to keep them paid but to keep like members of their crew paid and stuff so it's definitely been a, a tough year for for that kind of thing but yeah if you like this video i definitely appreciate if you uh click that little subscribe button down there i'll be doing more of these very soon uh i'm also curious as to what albums you think i should do next uh so leave me a comment down below tell me what your favorite album or ep is or which one you think would make for a good uh painting either way yeah i think that's about it for me i had a freaking ton of fun i hope y'all did too just hanging out and stuff you know but yeah i hope to see you guys in the next one see you dude